Hey everybody, this is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Pench with your Ski Southeast forecast. I am decked out in my festive gear. We are ready for the week of Christmas. Can you believe it's the week before Christmas? Big, big ski weekend here in the Southeast. And conditions don't look that bad. Much better than last year at this time when we had 70s all over the place. We had a day, a stretch there. We had 11 days of 70 or higher last December. That's not the case this year. Even though we've had a pretty significant warm-up, the first part of the week leading up to Christmas weekend is looking cool enough for snowmaking. So Monday, Tuesday, and I would say Wednesday night we'll be able to make snow. Now this isn't going to be 24-hour snowmaking possibilities, but pretty good chance we're going to get 8 to 12 hours of snowmaking in every single night, which should allow for us to lay down some additional base. Now as far as natural snow, we just not we have not had that big storm yet or significant snow, not even northwest flow snow just yet. And right now, I don't see that happening, even long range. But look at the European model going into the holiday weekend. There's a small potential we could get a burst of snow on Friday into Christmas Eve, Saturday. But overall, this looks pretty, pretty puny for any major snow from Mother Nature. We're going to have to rely on cold temperatures. And that cold air was going to come in waves. We're going to see a big wave the start of this week, and then it relax in the middle. But another quick shot coming in right before Christmas. Before Christmas Day, things start to warm up a little bit, though. It doesn't look anything like last Christmas. These temperatures on Christmas Sunday are looking generally in the 30s and 40s. So we'll call that seasonable for this time of year, but certainly nothing that would look too warm. And then we start looking towards the week after Christmas going into New Year's. Looks very wedgy here across the southeast. Warm air bottled up, but we're getting cold air to the north, which is then wedging itself down the eastern slopes of the mountains. So we're starting to see that kind of wedge set up. And this is kind of what went into my winter forecast, if you remember. A lot of cold air and snow in the Ohio Valley, Great Lakes, and we're going to get some that sneaks down here every once in a while. So certainly the potential is going to be there. But if you look at Christmas Day right now as far as temperature anomalies, you can see across the southeast, this is Christmas Day, a couple degrees above average. So not horrible, but not exactly cold. The cold air is going to be bottled up here over the plains where I think it's going to stay for most of Christmas weekend. Then we look past Christmas. Let's start looking at the Thursday after Christmas going into New Year's. That week right now is looking pretty mild. Though, let me be honest, it's not going to be super warm like it was last year. This is not a huge thaw, but this is definitely a little bit above average, five to six degrees above average for this time of year. So while not horrible, it's certainly not great for snowmaking, though I think if we are making enough snow now, we've made enough snow over the next couple weeks, we should still have pretty decent ski conditions going into the new year. And then looking into January, we're looking long, long range. Maybe the pattern can flip back to cold. Let's get this warm stuff out of our system. Um, definitely looks better than last December, which was decimating for the southeast. I mean, most of us wouldn't even dream of skiing last year at this time with temperatures felt like it was April or May. This year, at least there's going to be slopes open and it'll feel like Christmas, even though we don't have a major storm. Hope you're having a great holiday week. Of course, I'll keep things updated throughout the week. I will maybe bring back the suit. if I, I, just, I just need one with snow on it, maybe some snowboarders. That would be key for the holiday weekend. But I'll keep you up to date as we head towards the holiday weekend. And a lot of folks will be heading to the mountains. And here, don't worry about it. Call ahead. Most of the resorts are going to be fine. Maybe not 100% open, but we should be pretty good with the snowmaking capabilities and the cold air right now. As always, think snow. Please have a great week. And if you're off of work or heading out of town, safe travels if you're going to the mountains. And always, think snow.